Hi Capricorns, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? Well, this is the reading for November 2nd through November 8th, 2020. And that makes me a little nostalgic because my mom's birthday is November 2nd, or was, she's deceased. And so whenever November 2nd comes around, I kind of, I think about things that makes me kind of sad and I miss her a little bit. But, you know, life goes on really does. So Samhain has ended too. And as a pagan, Samhain is the end of the wheel of the year and it's this new year, which is so exciting. But it's also bittersweet because some, even though it's exciting to start something new, it's sad to end something. So anyway, on your reading, the first card you get is the Eight of Cups. And this card is all about moderation and taking your time and making decisions. See, he's got these cups, but he's out looking for the other cup too. But he's watched over by the moon, which has some wisdom and energy going on. So he's just got to make that decision and search for what he needs to do. And I think that's true for you. That you've got some decisions coming along that you're going to have to search out the right choice. It's not apparent to you. That doesn't mean you don't have the answers with inside of yourself. It just means it's not as apparent as you would like it to be. It's not like in your face. But, you know, sometimes not everything can be in your face. The next card we get is a Queen of Cups. And this is a, about a woman who's mothering and nurturing and I think you need some of that nurturing going on in your life this week because you're having to make some decisions and seek out some answers and you just need to nurture yourself that could be as simple as making sure you get eight hours sleep or having a cup of tea in the afternoon or whatever it takes to nurture you be sure and do that for yourself and the final one you get is the Three of Wands. And this card says your ships are going to come in. This He's watching his ships come in. You're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. Even though right now you're not realizing that you're going to get that. You are going to start seeing that. Now I pulled a card from the Crow Tarot deck. And one of the great things I have enjoyed about reading online is that I open these decks to share with y'all and I get some great stuff. So, and you get the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is about partnerships. It can also be about relationships like meeting a partner. But I think that um, you're going to be partnering with someone to make your dreams come true and watch your ships come in. This could be a relationship, like a dating relationship, or it could just be a new business partner or just a new best friend, someone to help you nurture yourself. Another, the next card we get I pulled from the Spell Crafting Oracle deck is the Passion card. This card is all about fulfilling your passions. I think to some extent because you've been searching and protecting yourself and thinking through things that maybe you haven't been letting your passion come in too much. You've been thinking with your head and not your heart. And maybe it's time for you to have some more passion. You know, just saying. Okay. I see a duck. Now ducks are about money coming in. So you're going to get some money coming in. And I see a dog. A dog is all about loyalty. So once again, I think that this relationship that's going to come about is going to have some great loyalty in it. This person, this relationship, whether it's a business partner or a relationship like a dating relationship, that person has loyalty. And so do you. Capricorns are notoriously loyal. And I see a hollowed out tree. That means that you feel like something is missing in your life. And it's time to start something new. 
So I think that goes back to that relationship that or that friendship that you're going to start new. It is time to start this new. It's time to um, have your moderation, but to be making your choices. It's time to be nurtured. You haven't been doing those things for yourself. You Capricorns have been working way too hard and not having any fun. You've been working really, really hard and it's really hard sometimes for y'all to trust, to trust others, to trust yourself. But if you don't take the chance of trusting, you're going to miss out on so much. I mean, if you never give away, there's that song, The Rose, and it was Bette Midler sung it. Google it. Look it up on YouTube. It's truth. It says, some say love, it is a river um, that flows the, oh, goodness. But one of the, some of the things it says, if you never take a chance, you never learn to live. If you never start to dance, you know, I don't remember the song. I'm sorry. I just did a lousy job screwing it up. But you, you get the message. Look it up on YouTube. It, it really applies. And Capricorns, I think you've been holding things too tight. And it's time to have some fun. If y'all, by the way, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be answering your questions, your yes and no questions. Send me a text, 405-512-9400. If you want to do a private reading, same phone number, 405-512-9400. And subscribe to my channel so I can keep making videos. Y'all have a good one.